Hey there, friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mary. And today I am here with my sister. Today is Sunday and we had a garage sale. My town of Orville had their citywide garage sale and uh, we had a garage sale. And then also we went garage sailing. Um, so we thought we'd show you both, both of us show you what we got. Um, so the first day was Friday and, um, what did we do, Kelly? Uh, we both went out after three o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we shut our garage sale down early at three o'clock and then the, we went out together and, um, I found a few, uh, nice things. So, um, okay. Kelly, do you want to go first? Let I can you go, go first. first. Sure. Okay. Okay. I didn't get as much as Mary and you know, everything's pretty much for me. So the first purchase I made was this um, picking basket. And I just like these uh, for putting my mums, my fall mums in and setting them outside. So I was really happy to get this. It was, I think a dollar. So that was my first purchase. And then I do have a collection of milk glass plates. Um, so I picked up one to add to my collection because I do want to use them. So this is that, uh, great pattern and it's just a sandwich size plate, but I have a few others. So I thought I'd pick this up to add to my collection. Um, if any of you follow Nicole North Garden and some of her DIYs, She's done um, like plate topiary, topiaries for outside gardens. And I picked this up real cheap to try to do one of her DIYs for next spring um, or summer to put it together. So I just picked up a random plate. Um, next, we ran into a friend of ours. And of course, I'll let Mary give more details on that, but he is a dealer, um, but he was having a garage sale. So I picked up this pink depression glass bowl. Um, this is a pattern that I already have some serving pieces for a sugar creamer. And I probably have this bowl as well, but I think two of them would be good because I do use these for my Easter dinner. And, you know, I paid, I think, $2.50 for this, which was great. And also, I've been wanting a mug tree, so he had this wooden one for a dollar. So, I got that. And I think that's it for the first day. Yeah, okay. that's all I got on the first day. All right. Okay. So, um... I got, let's see, I, um, I went ahead and I picked up all these crocheted, uh, hangers. I, I just really think they're nice. Um, they're very nice to use, uh, for your tops. Um, you know, the rounded edges, you, then you don't get that pointy, pointy piece. piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't it. end up pointing, uh. So I got those and um, they'll be for resale. Uh, anybody interested in them, please feel free to um, send me an email. Um, I'll let you know what I'm keeping and, and what I'm not. And you can always send me an email at ancestralbeginnings5 at gmail.com. All right. Um, I found a set of um, home co uh mice so really cute christmas christmas mice. mice and of course i love home co home co does not get enough credit so um i paid three dollars for these so they need cleaned up of course but um and they're available um by the way guys i'm going to tell you right now 
Um, I believe it's Monday, October 17th on my channel at 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to have an all Christmas sale. So you'll want to come to that. Um, and I got this frame. It does not have the glass, but I liked the frame. I thought it was rather uh, ornate. Um, eight and a half by... 10 by 8 by 10, 8 by 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I picked that up. So that was one um, garage sale. And then I went to another garage sale and I picked up this sweet little uh, teacup and saucer. Very sweet. Here's the other side that has more on it. So this is Yukago. And there's writing on the back. It says, uh, from Mrs. John E. Miller. Mm -hmm. So it must have been a gift. But I thought it was very sweet. It will be available for resale. So, um, I got this vintage. Let me see. Oh, this is, oh, That's okay, it's reversible. Side. Oh, my or goodness. Reversible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. it, it could reversible. be reversible. So, this is an apron. So, the pocket is on, this is a pocket here on this side. But you can turn it this way, too. And there's a pocket on this side, Oh, too, is right? there? I think. No. Right here. Is oh. this a pocket on the corner? Oh, there is a pocket on the corner. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Somebody did a really nice job if this, I, I assume it's handmade. So, very pretty. This will be available. And then, I love this. I saw that too. I yeah. Love it. I love the colors. Yes. Love the colors. A lady with a big basket on her head and the donkey. So cute. Very nice. What's it say in the bottom? What's it say? Dunmoy. Dunmoy. What's underneath? I can't read it. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's something. Oh, pure I. Irish. Pure Irish linen, linen it so. says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But love the colors. Perfect for fall. So, love that donkey. This is available. And then these I got for myself. I got 12 pieces, quilt pieces. So I got 12 of them. Look at this. Look at this one. This is all vintage fabric for sure. Look at that. Look at the deer with the <laughs> cart. Oh my goodness. So I'll just show you one more. This one with the donkey? Or a horse. Or a horse. Because there's a cowboy. cowboy Hang yeah. on. See, there's the horse. <laughs> but these are definitely vintage fabrics. 12 of these you guys and they're staying with me <laughs> I kind of hoard them all right that all right I picked up this um, pickle dish um, guys I don't know it doesn't say treasure craft but it kind of sure does look like it um, it's, it's a good 12 or 13 inches long. So I got this. I think I paid $2 for it. Then, of course, I could not resist Bambi. Um, this Bambi book. Um, it is... It was originally 69 cents. Oh, it's got some damage. Look, the first page is... Is a bit ripped, but it's 1980. Oh, okay. Yep, 25th printing, 1980. So the front front page is ripped, but um, let's see. 
but um, still very cute mm -hmm. pictures in it. The front cover is pretty nice. I thought about, I have a, haven't sold it yet, but I have a Bambi planter. Mm. And it actually says Bambi on the bottom. I have a Bambi planter that uh, my, I thought about throwing this in with it. So we'll see. Um, and then I don't know if this was a good buy or not. Um, you know, you have to be a Raggedy Ann lover for this book, but I just thought it was adorable. Uh, it's titled, A Thank You, Please, and I Love You book. Oh. And Andy's on the back cover Oh, yeah, show. Andy's on the back, yeah. yeah. I want to see what the year is. It's a golden book. Ooh, look at the flowers. <laughs> um, let's see what the year is. Uh, copyright 1969. So, very cute. Very cute. Okay, so it, it's available. Spread the word, any Raggedy Ann lovers. All right, so I think that's it for um, the first day. So we're going to clear everything out, and we'll be right back for day two. Okay, so um, now we've got day two, uh, Saturday, and um, trying to remember, Kelly. Oh, it was a slow day uh, yesterday. And so we went ahead and we took turns um, going out. Uh, one of us stayed uh, at the house for our sale and the other person went out. So who went first, we went Kelly? first. I went first. And oh, and you found nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, I was afraid of being away too long. And, um, so and I was getting hungry and so, um, I came back empty handed and then Kelly, did you go ahead and go straight out? Yes. Before we had lunch. lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so okay. the first sale, I only picked up one thing and it was this jar and I liked it, the shape of it and the rusty, Thing. And I just have a lot of littles, you know, and so I thought I'm using it as a junk jar for myself. So I got that at the first place I went to. Um, of course, lots of places walked away from. But um, my next place I went to, uh, I, I picked up this little Santa mug. And I, I'm not sure that it, I don't think it's really vintage. I don't know. It probably is vintage, well, to some extent. Yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> nothing. Clean on the, yeah, pretty clean on the bottom. But what's in top on top of it? The lady was taking her zinnias, and she was, um, you know, getting the seeds out. And so we talked about it. Uh, she takes the seeds out every year. She dries them and then she spreads them. Um, I learned a little bit about that. You put them in just plain dirt. Uh, you do not put them in mulch. And she just had a beautiful garden of zinnias. And so she gave me some of these. And I'm going to try to start a zinnia little garden next year. So I was really excited. She was so nice about that. And then the same lady also had this piece. I, you know, I'm starting to collect. I want amber. to the amber. Yeah, I want to collect the pretty, amber. I don't have a pretty. lot. I picked up some green this year at an estate sale, which I really love. But now I'm wanting more. Show the bottom. Yeah, yeah. there's the bottom. I'm wanting more of. The, you can make a nice bouquet in there. Yes. So I've been really all, already thinking about what I want to put in here. I wish I had some live zinnias to put in there, you know. Um, so yeah, I got that from her. That was, that was four dollars I picked that up for. And then the only other thing I picked up was from a free box um, at a sale. 
This was in the free box. I picked it up originally just for the frame. You can see that they had uh, already picked it up at Goodwill or somewhere like that, Savers, whoever does that. Um, but what I didn't realize when I got it home and looked on the back, it's almost professionally framed and it says that this is a waterfall in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. So that's pretty. So I'll, I'll see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, if I'll keep it or not. Do you ever do that where you pick up something real cheap and then you think, eh, why did I pick that up? I'm not sure I really want this. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of how I feel about this. Also in this free box, I couldn't believe it, was this doll. She, you can hear her feet clanking. She's porcelain. Um... This is her in a soft body. In a right? soft body, right. The head, hands, feet are all this porcelain. Yeah, but the soft body. The only problem with her, she has a little chipped nose. You can see that. Right on the top. Right on the top. Yep, right there. But I thought she was cute and different. And she's going to go to Mary. So she's available. Yep. Yeah, she's so cute. Um, and I think that's it for my my alone garage sailing on Saturday. Okay. All right. Um, so I forgot this one piece. Um, got it the same place at our friend's uh, sale. Um, Kelly, the same one that Kelly got the pink bowl from. I got this bowl. Very pretty. And uh, he gave us a good deal on it. Yeah, so um got that. So that was the that was Friday. Um then that that was okay. And that's then, it. Saturday afternoon we went to Journey in Time. Oh that's right, that's right. Okay, forgot. <laughs> um so we went then, uh, after we closed up at 3 o'clock, we went to Journey in Time, which is an antique um, store just outside of Orville. And they had some vendors outside um, uh, because of the, the community-wide garage sale. Mm -hmm. They had vendors outside, and so we stopped there first, um, and I... Was this the only thing I got outside? outside. No, this yeah. too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I got this big jar of um, candy corn um, um, candles. <clears throat> and uh, I'll take one out. There are only like two that have been bur burned, but there's three five, six, seven, eight, nine that have not been burned. Oh, so, ombre, yeah. yeah, they're what, like about six inches, seven inches oh, tall? Maybe eight. Yeah. Mm, they smell good. Oh, <laughs> do they? Yeah. Hmm. Um, it says, hay rides at the pumpkin patch farm. Visit our corn maze, see our huge pumpkins, it says on the outside. Um, so this will be available. All right, and <laughs> I picked up this little guy too. I have no idea how vintage it is, this little witch, but it's it's very long. Let's see, how does it work? Oh, it goes like this. Mm -hmm. Bit of an acrobat. Kind of like an acrobat. <laughs> She's pretty weird. It's all so, plastic, right? Yeah, it's all plastic. She's cat, a cat on her hat. Yeah. Uh -huh. Her nose is a little wonky there. But she's available. If anybody would like her, she'd be great, you know, to put in something, you know, in a vase. So, she's pretty cool. If I don't sell her, I'll keep her. Um, and then that was it for outside, and then we went inside, 
Um, upstairs, they had, um, normally it's a 50% off um, red slash room. And today, um, or yesterday, it was 75% off. And I got, um, this is like the second, uh, I'm going to say 4th of July, red, white, and blue necklace. But it's very pretty. See the different um, it's other the beads. beads. That yeah, are yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not very um, it's almost, it's not very long. But so I'll save that for next year. Or if anybody wants it now, it's available. And then I don't know, seventy five percent off. I got this bag of um, buckles, vintage, antique, Bakelite buckles. So, got those. Those are available. Um, this little guy was not 75% off then. That was all I got for 75% off. But I got this little ornament, flocked bell, with a little angel. So cute. So I got that. Um, I picked up a cute, couple cute little Christmas books. They're adorable. They're called Christmas Lollipop Books. Cute. Very nice for like tear tray or something to put on your tear tray. This is the second uh, book, this, um, the Santa Claus book. This is the second one I've gotten. So now I have two of these and they'll be for sale. Really nice. And then this one. I paid up for you guys, so it's going to stay with me. It's 40 Christmas cards. Um, here is the back. So these are punch out Christmas cards. Really cute. It's a Whitman. Um, oh my God, they're adorable. Look, let's see. I'll do this. I'll do it this way. So you can see those. Is there a year on it, Mary? Yeah, I was going to look for a year. Um, show them. Where is it? There it is. This way. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Yes, Very they cute. are cute. Um, let's see on the cut on solid lines fold on dotted lines so oh maybe these are the envelopes yeah those are envelopes these are envelopes mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. gosh look yeah gotta these have an envelope. envelopes oh my <laughs> goodness and so this is completely intact oh my gosh cute ones. Uh, so cute oh my oh. goodness so cute so you guys, my thoughts are, or if I can get my act together, I'm planning on making um, digital um, digital downloads and putting my Etsy store. Mm -hmm. So um, here's on the back. Copyright 1965. Mm -hmm. Is that right? First one was 51. And then 1965. Yeah, yeah, I think so. These are 1965. Uh -huh. Love them. Did you also buy that? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. At the 75% off? No, no, no. No. But I got this little tin. It's staying with me. Black and orange. Awesome. <laughs> um, Dachshund. Torch lighter. Torch lighter. Yeah. Um, so I have 
taken the bottoms. Oh, it slides Yes, off. yes. Just like the, you know, just like the old fuse boxes. So I have in the past taken old fuse boxes and um, put little images in, put um, um, yeah, in images and then used ice resin, used resin mm -hmm. to, uh, and made, made a necklace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's staying with me. Put a little uh, Halloween image in there. Exactly. For a Halloween necklace. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Cute. Yeah. All right. Is it my turn for that's... Journey in Time? Yes, it's your okay. turn. All right. So the first thing, and one of the outside vendors. So this is a mug. Uh, mug, mug rack. rack. She said she used it for her jewelry, which you could, but I wanted it for a mug rack. Um, there is some paint peeling. I'll probably repaint it. You will? This, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'd leave it. Yeah, no. Um, will you repaint it a different color? Well, that's the thing. I don't really have a set of four mugs yet. So, so you have to wait till you I get have to your find mugs. the mugs and see what color would coordinate with them. But yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> and the other wooden one is gonna go bye bye unless somebody wants it. But um, yeah, this is really I really wanted the metal one. I can't believe I found it. All right, and then inside it, one of the vendors. Um, I should take this off. Mm -hmm. They created this uh, book by painting the book black and then putting this cute little Halloween, vintage Halloween picture on it. So that's just going to go in my Halloween decor. I thought it was really cute. I don't like it a lot. Yep. Well, that's for Journey in Time for me. Okay. Um, and so then we started um, back home and uh, not far from Journey in Time. We saw a big open um, yard and they had tents out and um, a lot of stuff. It boxes like and boxes. Boxes and boxes like yeah. a digger, you know. <laughs> and that's what it was. So we pulled in and nothing was priced. A lot of stuff just thrown on tables and then a lot of stuff in boxes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he said, just bring up what you want and I'll give you a price. So, um, all right, we will clear the table and I'll show you, we'll show you. You've got some things too, yeah, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we'll be right back. I forgot one thing from Saturday at Journey in Time. Mm -hmm. I also got this 75% off. So I got a nice deal on this um, compote, yeah. pink depression, depression glass. glass compote. Yeah. So, pretty. yeah, very pretty. I got that. All right, so now for... Um, the yard sale that was, uh, I got one price. Um, all right, so I picked these up, and these are going to stay with me. There's a pair of them, and we don't even know what, what they, they were. were for because see the, there's a little rim, like a lip or something. I don't know if you can see that or not. So it seemed like something went on top of this, but I don't know what. But to me, I'm going to craft with them. They look like angel bodies to me. Put a head on top. These could act as wings. So put a little light, a little, a light can go inside. A little, little votive light can go inside. So I got to get creating and see what I can come up with. Yeah, that would be really yeah. cute. And then um, I'm a sucker for vintage cards, you guys. I use them as package toppers. She's, um, you know, I think she's vintage. There is, these are new in the... Yeah, there's a 
They're new in the package, still have the cellophane on them. There is a barcode, um, but at 70s, yeah, maybe. Um, I think. Yeah, I think they're definitely like old. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I went ahead and I picked this up. It's filthy dirty. <laughs> I am probably, if I can get it cleaned up good, it's going to go in my live sale tomorrow because Halloween is just around the bend. So this is a, um, it says $16.92, which city? Salem, Massachusetts. And then show them the back. Yeah, it's Japan. it is Japan. S C I O oh, Kelly mm -hmm. S C I O Japan. Hopefully you can see that. So there is a chip. This dark spot here is a chip. But we'll see. We'll see if I can get this cleaned up. Um, I picked up this guy. He's going to go in an assemblage. He's dirty. He's chipped. He's broken off at the bottom. Um, but he'll go in an assemblage. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then I got, and again, um, no, it doesn't say treasure craft, but it has to be treasure craft this. It's beautiful. I got to clean it up. It's very dirty. Um, you know, it's seen better days, but I can sell it at a decent price, at a nice price, you know, for somebody. So that's available. Um, I got this coaster set. This is a coaster set. I think I have six coasters in here. And they're, they're, they're metal. They're metal coasters. One, two, three, four. Yeah, six. They're all in nice condition. So I got those. They'll be in a sale. Probably my Christmas sale. Very cute. Um... I love this change purse. It's got a double compartment. Very nice. It's like, um, is that a velvet or a, what do you, I don't know. Faux suede. Faux suede, <laughs> I don't know. But it's, it's nice inside. And the other compartment. Very nice. It's like upholstery. Thing yeah, like. it's, 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 it's nice. So that's available. That'll be available. And then these are very dirty. I'm going to try and clean them up. Very nice. Um, you can hang these on the wall. Hot pads, crocheted hot pads. I'm going to get these cleaned up. I have washed. a lot of windows, so I put mine on suction cups on windows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yep. So I got these. They'll probably be in my Christmas um, sale. Again, my Christmas sale is going to be on October 17th, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. So not tomorrow night, but the following Monday. And then I, you guys, I have a lot of scissors, but do you think that I could find them when I need them? No. So <laughs> I pulled this out too. And, um, so how much did you pay for all that? <laughs> for $3. All that. $3. So, yeah. 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 All right. I think I got everything in mine. Okay. okay Kel. And I didn't get that much. Um, also a little crocheted chick. It's the kind where you can put your egg in there, you know? And my grandma used to make these. We have a couple from... No. No, that was our friend. That was our friend's, friend's mom. Not grandma. Yeah. Our friend's mom made a couple of these for us. Grandma made us the snowmen. Yes, the snowmen. Coat pins. Coat pins. Yes. Crocheted. Crocheted, yeah. yeah. Then I found these uh, little mushroom picks. Picks, doodaddies. So 
Yeah, they'll, I'll use them next spring in something. Mm-hmm. Cute. Yeah. And I also found a pair of scissors. <laughs> Gosh, what? I don't remember what I paid. A dollar? I think I paid a dollar for that. All stuff. of those. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that it for our... What are we all got, I think. That is it. That is we it. We got everything. <laughs> all right. So thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this haul with Sister Kelly. We had a great weekend yeah. together. Yeah, it was, it was nice. fun. You mm -hmm. know, it's always nice to spend time right. with, with your sis. So um, I'm on Instagram, you guys. So if you're interested in following me there... Um, I am mcm.ancestor, and you can follow me on Facebook at Ancestral Beginnings. Uh, my email again is ancestralbeginnings5 at gmail.com, and uh, my live sales are Monday nights at 5 p.m. Eastern. So, hope to see you there. Mm -hmm. And have a great day, guys. Give us a thumbs up, yes. too. And Comment. What did you like from what we found? I would like to know what was some of your favorite things. Yeah. Yeah, please comment. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.